Doctor, the war on cancer, um, we heard about that, I think, back in the early 70s from President Nixon. Um, is there such a thing? Well, there's a war in the sense of trying to battle a disease that's growing in incidence and is uh, far more treacherous. It used to be the number three cause of death when the war on cancer was started in 1972. It's now the number one cause of death or number two, depending on which age group you look at. Nevertheless, mm. it's climbed in the ranks. It's more prevalent and treacherous mm -hmm. than ever before. Uh, the number of cancer, 1.4 million Americans will be newly diagnosed with cancer each year. There's 8 million Americans who are in cancer treatment right now. So it is a huge and growing problem that is not going to go away quickly. And I think the war needs to change its strategy. Uh, what we're doing is ineffective technology. If you think about it, for decades, people tried to make a better, more accurate watch by putting in more gears and more jewels. And finally, somebody said, no, a grain of sand, silicon basics of uh, uh, transistors and integrated circuits. And so the chip watches that we use now have no moving parts and they're far more accurate because we threw away the old technology of moving gears and jewels and said, let's try something completely different. Same thing with cancer treatment. We thought we could cut, burn, and poison the cancer out of the body. No, it doesn't work. What we need to do is change the milieu, the terrain, the soil of the body, uh, and then use selective therapies that do not destroy the patient but can get rid of the cancer. Is that change happening, that change in thinking? You, very you mentioned how bad the cancer rates are getting. Yeah, very, very slowly. Uh, I'm afraid that things might get worse before they get better. I mm -hmm. mean, eventually we're going to move in the right direction, but uh, of the 10,000 board-certified oncologists in America, at least 99% of them still have the misunderstanding that nutrition is counterproductive or useless as part of cancer treatment. So my field is clinical nutrition. I worked for 10 years as VP of nutrition for a large cancer hospital. And what's been shown beyond argument in numerous scientific studies is that a well-nourished cancer patient can better manage and beat the disease. This has been clearly shown. Unfortunately, 99% of oncologists in this country uh, have not embraced that very simple fact.